Hey Hermits of YouTube, it's your band Harley. We're back with a brand new episode today. And this time we will of course be once again continuing with exploration of the 3.6 area in the desert. We'll also be carrying on with the Parry World Quest. We've got Carmrian Ruins to explore and we're gonna keep pushing towards completing this Rite of Chinva as this quest starts to reach its conclusion. So let's get going. Oh, there's one over here as well. I'm probably going to be too far away, aren't I? What? Ah, oh, goddamn. That's effort. You don't want spankies? Can't believe you. Can't believe you do me like this. Huh, I wonder why they have two. There's no need for two. Nope. Nice. Ah, oh, so close. Nope. God damn it. teleport waypoint unlocked and why did I just suddenly get a side quest huh what the hell hey oh take it easy I got a chest I just was too far away to see it <laughs> it's fine treasure way to draw your target out of hiding right now right here your journey ends here does it i gotcha quietly now emerge right here emerge Go! Oh, more brave fuckers. Gotcha. We can't have nice things, I guess. One with nature. Time to go. Is that all you got? Uh, who are you talking to? Ah, something's about to attack us. What? Oh, hello. Right here. Right now. Like nine and zero? Icon. Excuse me, icon behavior for real.
Hmm. They ain't nothing. Come forth and perish. Oh, okay. That was different. Go on. Am I going to be too far away? Probably. Oh no, this is fine. Oh, go down. Nice. It actually came back to where I was. Mm, I think we do need to grab this. I'm just worried about it being too far away. Oh wait, no, it just goes, oh, I'm stupid. It's not one you grab. It just, oh, I'm so silly. You guys, did you know I'm so silly? Fun fact. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Thank you, Cavo. Thank, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> what? Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Never mind. I'm not silly. I don't understand. Yes. Let's fucking go. Oh, it's it's taking me to a different one. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, I don't understand this game. Nope. It's a different one. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck this goes. Take it easy. Oh, but I found some useful things. I'll take it. It's always a puzzle, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So true. Okay, so... Let me see. Wait, I can only see... Three? And there's four on the... Take it easy. Wait, what? Am I missing one? Oh, there's one up there. Take it easy. Okay, so that one first. Is it puzzle to have gay? <laughs> Can someone please add that as a quote? Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then this one. Hey. <laughs> if not, I will. Can't just leave it be. Hey, I don't think we've met before. Are you a Yasna party? If you could, would you mind bringing me the Urumbara pistols? It would bloom from where it cannot bloom. Oh, I need two more. What the fuck? Umbara pistols gib tree. What? Umbara pistols gib tree. What? Contains invalid characters. Is it because? Genshin came up with a word that you cannot type because you can't write the word dumb even if it's in part of another word. But they came up with the word Udumbara, which includes the word dumb. <laughs> make it make sense. Wait, what? Oh, it's up there. Okay.
Do I straight to... Oh my god, it, wait, it is in here. Oh, Nikki, Nikki was right. I just didn't understand what she meant. Okay. <laughs> Please. Yep, yep, it's from the others. Okay. I am very stupid. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, imagine that. <laughs> Brain cells. Brain cells are hard. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I just thought, like, the entrance to, the, like, the, the boss area would just be its own enclosed area, because usually they are. Not on this occasion. <laughs> Take it easy. All right, let's go. Well then, let me help you open this door. The final great song of Kfarana can be found in this underground Darian factory. This looks very original civilization architecture, like Enkanamiya and the depths of the chasm. We are merely one step away, but knowing that we are so close to collecting all the great songs, even I feel rather excited. Hesitate a little. What? Are you afraid now that we're here? Mm, it's just that you might have read those notes, Nasajuna, but Paimon thinks you're a little too good at working with these ruined machines. Yeah, he's he's the, from the Fatui. But of course, while you were away, I was making preparations the entire time. Maybe he's not for two. Maybe he's Abyss Order. Actually, yeah, that would track because the because ab Abyssal creatures can pretend to be humans, like Enjo. Mm. But then the the Abyss Order, like. Creatures that we meet tend to be from Caria. So, like. I don't know. I am sus, though. Not oh, here. Yeah. Oh, an Ekonomia, yeah. Another hidden waypoint. How the fuck are there treasure hoarders down here? What? How? Everything was blocked off. That makes no sense. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a lot of treasure down here too. Oh! This is so easily missed. Holy fuck. That is so well hidden. Time to go. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Nothing else here. Time to go. Okie doke. Continue onward. Oh, 
Hot lady. Gotta go to the hot lady. <laughs> Money. Nice. Time to go. Care for a dance. Right now. Yes, please. Ooh -woo. One with nature. She kind of has the same attack patterns as Nilu, I just realized that. Who says there are benefits to a life of wandering? Oh, there's some books, cute. Okay, so they want us to go this way, I want to get this, Ravashi tree here too, oh there are monsters here, You don't want to start all those dark puppies there. Oopsie. There's only one way left to go then. <laughs> okay. Right here. Emerge. Into the wind. Shot. One with wind and cloud. One with nature. Shot. Quiet. Nice. Whoa, you must be one powerful Yasna party. Phew, now we can relax. Guardy things. Yep, eating is definitely important. Mm. Easy money. It's new. I always forget to drink. Honestly, me too. <laughs> I am trying to be better about it, but <laughs> it's not always easy. Uh... All right, so where's... Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Use the four Sarish! <laughs> That's so funny. That's such a funny achievement. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> like... It's 4am for you. Do you want to talk about it or? You had to. Are you talking about Among Us or do I need to delete some messages for legal reasons or? <laughs> Wait, how do you unlock this? Oh, Octopath. Oh, okay. Primrose. Yes, yes. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Right here. Emerge. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you finished Primrose's story? Nice. I don't actually remember if I finished her story. I think I did. It has been such a long time. Nice. Glad there weren't any poisonous mushrooms inside. Academia investigation teams logs three. 
Though defensive mechanisms prevented a thorough investigation of the previous underground ruins, we collected enough astounding information to basically meet the goals of this expedition. Due to unknown reasons, a disagreement within the investigative team arose as to whether we should investigate another ruin. Some team members mentioned that they had been disturbed by some kind of sound coming from under the ground. At the insistence of our team leader, we decided to continue onward. Klingsor has been completely captivated by the knowledge in the ruins, and has no longer impedes the continued progress of our investigation in any way. By interpreting the records left behind by previous researchers, we have made some unexpected discoveries. It seems we can be certain that those mindless races that suddenly appeared in the desert in great numbers, the creatures that the desert folk mistakenly call Majuj, are in fact the innocent survivors of that ancient country, transformed somehow. Okay, so Majuj is like the desert's word for hilly chills? Oh, this again. Oh, another... Another hidden waypoint. Where's the... Ha! Huh, there we go. Inside at last. Well, this looks like the main hall. What should we do next? Hmm, let me think. Just like the previous ruins we've explored, this should also be the energy control hub for the entire ruin. If the documents I've read are accurate, this place was used as a manufacturing center and it was owned by the Dari warrior band known as the Svanenritter, just as the Proving Ground from earlier was. According to these records, they resisted the monsters that surged forth from beneath the earth during the cataclysm that occurred 500 years ago. Ah, but that's not important right now. Whatever the case, my notes say that the great song we must claim here is at the very bottom of this factory. We will need to use the elevator to reach that location, which means activating said elevator is our present problem. But just as with the previous ruins, the relays powering the elevator have been sealed by grey crystals. We will need to find Farwicks to eliminate them. It seems we'll need three of those. The notes seem to say that these ruins should contain quite a few of them though, so we might as well have a look around the adjoining, ro adjoining rooms. Well you say that, but the doors all around look closed. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere fast. Hm. Pale floater, you fret over much. All places are accessible to those who use Kvarna. And is not one of the Farwicks you wish to find here? Exactly. As long as we use the Farwicks to break the seals over the relays, we can use the mixer to transfer power over the, to the devices near the doors to open them. Well, let's give this a go all the same. Okay. Where are we taking it? Oh, these. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so... Oh wait, I did... I did... Huh? Do I maybe want to put it somewhere else? Oh, yeah, I think... Right? Uh... Oh, wait, I can move it as well. Oh, move. Oh, wait, what would I want to open? I see, I see, hold on. Does this open this? Oh no, it doesn't. What happens if I... Oh no, it kills it. Okay. So... I want to... Rotate. Ah! Oh, it really opened! In that case, let's do the same with the door on the other side. I'd love to go over there and have a look. My notes say that this factory smelting center lies that way. But seeing the state of these relays, we will need another Farwick to activate the door here. And if we want to activate the elevator, we will need to unseal all three of these relays. Considering that, 
Could we trouble you and our great envoy to go find it? Oh, you almost sound like you presume to command me. Oh, no, no, of course, I would never dare do such a thing, oh, great envoy. Yet this is a great task that only you may accomplish. You and your Yasna party truly work wonders that a mere mortal such as I cannot aid in accomplishing, and as such, mine is only to wait for your return. Still, do take these investigation notes along with you, so that you shall not lose your way. It contains the locations of all the Farwicks you must find. Rene's investigation notes. Analysis of the nature of the Vorukasha Oasis. Intriguing. The structure of the so-called Sacred Lotus is similar to the composition of mine and Jacob's bodies. Huh? Who the fuck is Jacob? And what do you mean it's similar to the what? A strange result, one that will require more data samples to verify. The Shamania won't let us take any samples. How churlish. Hilly churl? We ate dried bread. The jam is nearly gone. Compared to the powers of the elements, the power of Farina is actually more similar to blank. It assimilates whatever materials and energies it comes into contact with. Though the Kfarina is opposed to the energy of blank, it does similarly have a form of self-recognition. On this point, the two possess the same properties. Just as tinctures of mercury will not mix with water, but will do so with other. We can reasonably infer that the power of Kfarina might be the same as the power of blank, the result of being projected onto this world. Perhaps it is precisely because of such thinking that those petty Shamania came up with the notion of conflict. Is Shamania what they're calling the Pari? I bet the Shamania are the Pari. More importantly, we might be able to combine Kanrian records to deduce their world formula based on this. There was much to consider today, so I decided to eat a couple more sweets. Finished off the jam. He sometimes cries in secret. It's understandable, I think. All my teeth have come in, so I'm an adult now, but he's only just had his third tooth come in. What? Huh? All my teeth have come in, so I'm an adult now, but he's only just had his third tooth come in. These are not human beings. I don't think. Unless he's traveling with an actual fucking baby. And is a young dad, like. This would normally be time for afternoon tea at the Institute. Also, they're from, are they from Fontaine? I guess Rene, that makes sense. At the moment, I don't know what Elaine. I told him that the vice director said she would definitely return. She's amazing, always keeps her word, and is an adult who never tricks children. But seeing all of this, I am starting to think that she will be unable to return. Jacob has certainly thought this too. Split the last of the jam between myself and Jacob. For any context of this, but humans pretty much always have teeth. <laughs> yeah, I'm... None of this makes sense. I read all of the, like, the notes and the, the stuff that they give us. This is probably the most, like, confused and what the fuck I have ever been. <laughs> Maybe Tooth Fairies! <laughs> tooth Fairies and Genshin? Real? Based on the Carnarian records, this place produces azocytes, a block of energy of some kind. It is certainly convenient, and at least appears to be relatively stable and safe. It seems that the original plan was to use it as the power source for some sort of agricultural machine. Though the results are nothing impressive, this is because the object they chose was pure elemental force, which lacks any will whatsoever. Like the difference between the director and a hydro slime, perhaps? Based on her nature, she shouldn't die. At least, I hope not. So weak. If we don't take any measures, it's unlikely that we will endure long enough to return to Fontaine. Should be able to use this power. Furious. But it's understandable, given that even homes this far apart have been flooded. An attitude of resistance to this kind of power is normal. But we must preserve Jacob's life. After all... The Nazisenkreutz Institute. Lost consciousness. But I do not think power can be classified as right or wrong. Adults are too pedantic. Only remembered I hadn't eaten. Today's meal was only dried bread without jam. Regained consciousness. Jacob forgot, so Mr. Carl became suspicious. But the fake journal should still be effective for now. 
intriguing data was gained during the process. Based on the documents left behind by the Carnrians in this data, we can obtain some of, the some of the formulae. To celebrate and help Jacob supplement his nutritional intake, even though there's no need, I already told him that we must keep up the ruse, Mr. Carl foraged some nuts. <laughs> we boiled them down into jam, which used up to our remaining sugar, but that's fine. If things go to plan, we can return soon. Can be deduced all the way until the second flood periods. I've decided to call the previous incident that flooded the courtyard the first flood period, so as to better separate the two. The names being too similar caused Jacob to input the wrong data. Tail end. Though I don't want to admit it, but no matter how many times the calculations are run, the result is the same. I cross-checked with Jacob. Unbelievable. Destruction? Did I miss a variable? I must check the calculations again tomorrow. The results are as clear as a coin at the bottom of the fountain of Lucene. Jacob also saw similar scenes. There should be a way. No, there must be a way. Actually thought of a possible breakthrough during the process. Even though the calculated result is unchanged, but if the refinement method is reflected, if the power of... Then maybe we can extract the will within. Using this method, resist the impact. We begin our journey back to Fontaine tomorrow. This trip paid enormous dividends, and much of what was learned will be applicable. A larger catastrophe must be avoided. The plan should be fine. Nothing more than a question of what Jacob and I can do. Jacob is scared because he is still a child, but he already has strength greater than most adults. With us, Annalene, we can surely stop the disaster. Must speak with Annalene upon our return. A child? Who only has three teeth? <laughs> it took me much effort to obtain this information, so do keep it safe. Without the notes to guide me, I shall not be able to leave this place alone. And you would not leave a poor man such as I here in the dust, would you? I don't think the notes really explain anything whatsoever. <laughs> okay, go off, Chief. Uh... SpongeBob, if he had one more too. I don't trust you, my dude. Whoa. Right here. So we hear my name so many times because like I'm so tired. I'm like, who what who called me on right the game? <laughs> yeah. Ancient engineering notes. These logs have been piled up amidst the junk. They are from an unknown era, though they appear to be quite ancient. Based on our projections, the SSI concentration will exceed 60% after this round of smelting. These are probably the original Carrions then. Though it still fares poorly when compared with that newly discovered so-called perpetual energy source, after these energy alloys form a matrix, they should suffice to break through the technical bottleneck in energy efficiency requirements imposed by the large-scale mechanical wardens. Not relying on some dogma from beyond the heavens, but only upon the wondrous achievements brought about by human intelligence. If we continue to explore this path, perhaps we shall one day be able to create a true perpetual machine. Yeah, so these must have been written by Conrians. For sure. Oh wait, I missed a drop. Wait, hold on. Oh, and there's a chest. Thank you, drop that I missed, for letting me know about the chest. <laughs> it confuses the fuck out of me. I'm like, who, what, where, huh? This place is massive. Like my dick! Sorry. In my accent, yeah. And also like Australian. In before Static comes in and says, aren't you Australian, Harley? Hi besties, I've arrived to murder. A fateful offering. That's where I came from, yeah. But I'm so lost. <laughs> Fuck if I know where I'm going.
Nice sussy boxes. I'm not taking the bait. I'm not taking it. <laughs> oh, hi. The struggle I now have is that I want you to take care of yourself and go to bed, but I also really enjoy your company, Bon. So. <laughs> Am I complaining? No. <laughs> Who says there are benefits to a life of wandering? Okay, so we pick this up. Let's Time head to back to the main hall. Okay, cool. Maybe he's sleeping already. Yeah, maybe. Just sleepwalking. Sleepwalking, sleep talking. Oh wait, what was the other way to go then? I am confusion. Huh? A fucking tomato, really? Some ore. Oh, this takes me down here. Okay. Alright. Your second- You have multiple quotes, Vaughn. No, you definitely have multiple quotes. You have- there are others. There are definitely others. There's been a couple ones recently. I'm pretty sure that I ha that I wouldn't have like updated yet. What? Really? Just a common chest? He's right. Vaughn, you need to say things more. Oh my, you're finally back. I was beside myself with worry. If some frozen beast were to suddenly revive themselves, I would have been done for, no doubt. Fortunately, nothing of the sort happened. Well then, that's two fireworks we have obtained. In that case, let's open the door on the right, just as before. Following that, if you'll allow it, I shall follow you onward. I okay. Oh, there's a... Sadly. <laughs> oh. Triangle, square, and the E. That feels significant. Time to go. Hmm. Okay. In which case we need... Wait, what? Okay. So we move. This seems immovable. That's really fucking homophobic. Why would you give me the- oh. Sure, I guess. <laughs> nice. We did it, Joe. I need to stop saying that. I don't like Kamala Harris. Hmm. 
More places. This place is so fucking massive. I guess, wait, actually, that's a good point. This makes sense because this is where all the monsters came up from Carnria. So it makes sense that there are huge Carnrian ruins underneath. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> that does make sense. So does that mean this leads to Carnria? Oh, hello. Time to go. Emerge. One with nature. Can't believe you wear a shirt that lies. And what? What are you gonna do about it, Von? What are you gonna do? What's the fuck? Wow, that's a huge furnace. It's super hot. How is this still in operation? This giant furnace is used to make a substance known as azocyte. It is the core of this entire factory, and the energy blocks we saw earlier were derived from this place. But shouldn't this place have been abandoned ages ago? No one should have been able to get in here. Well, there might be some parts in here that we're not sure of. Those people who worship the Dark Abyss, and perhaps even the Fatui you spoke of may have entered. This guy is either from the Fatui or the Abyss Order, and I keep going back and forth. I think... I think the Abyss Order. I want to say the Abyss Order. But it could be Fatui. I go back and forth. Surely, now that I consider it, the Great Songs might have been stolen by now, were it not for the fact that only Lady Sarouche may touch them. Yeah. He wants to steal the songs. Ha! Huh. Worthless worries. The great songs of Farina are my destined inheritance. That any others might taint them with their touch? Inconceivable. Indeed, indeed, it is so. But we must find one more Farik to activate the relay sealed in crystal if you are to claim your destiny. Then we can activate that elevator and go to where the great song awaits us. Come on then, let's go. Please tell me I am not the only one who sees this. Please tell me it's not me who has a ridiculously dirty mind. Ragged engineering notes. What did you call me? Most of the content here has been deliberately erased with only the title page retaining traces of legible text. After the smelting furnace in the Royal Machine Workshop, Naid, was officially abandoned, this should be the last machine workshop in the kingdom that still has a complete azocyte powered system. The kingdom being the Carrion, what I'm assuming. The efficiency problems posed by such a highly complex power system have proved intractable, so results of this nature are to be expected. Even for miniaturized mass production units like field tillers, ruin guards, using a power core is much more convenient. It may not be long before this, even this workshop is closed. After all, humanity is always short sighted when it comes to technology. <laughs> I'm obsessed like with this. <laughs> Uh, Von thinking about things very literally and very deliberately is very funny. <laughs> Wait, what's... okay. Money! I work hard for the money. It's all your opinion, no problem. I appreciate it. Oh, nope, okay, bye. We are big Genshin stands here. And by we, I mean me and Diary, but. <laughs> okay, we got him, boys. Finally found it. Let's go back and activate that seal power relay, shall we? Appointment C, we should return to where we began if we follow the path on the left. Okay. Money! I love money! Uh, so we came from this direction, right? Time to go. I think. 
Cheeky nuggies and rice yet again? Nice. Killing it. Oh yeah, we ended up back here. Okay, cool. We just higher up now, I guess? Huh. <laughs> yeah, she is excellent. Love that. Uh Hounds? How would one get this without Kazuha? That's what I want to know. How are you supposed to get that? 80% sure I've told you this? Brain cells. They're hard to come by. If you put an ice cube on the rice before you microwave, it's kind of like steaming the rice so it's not that dry. Oh. I only really have like Uncle Ben's rice and stuff, so they already account for that, I guess. Huh, do you see that giant machine up there? Which, which one? Which one, buddy? Which one? That is the central control device of this entire factory. As long as we can get the energy from the relays to that center and then activate this device, we shall be able to activate the elevator. Whatever the case, let's hurry and unseal the relays, then use the mixer as before to connect the circuit. Hmm. What is it? This is no time to retreat. Yeah, you know what? You know this place too well, Nazajuna. It's like you've been here before or something. Don't you find it weird too, Sarush? Well, that is true, but he is a human Vinyapati. Vin Vinyanapati. Surely this is not beyond him. Humph, don't look down at us scholarly types. With the aid of these documents that I read in the mountains, even I can master these devices. And I have not only read all the books within the House of Dana, but I have spent much time collecting tomes heretofore hidden. How have you read all of the books in the House of Dana if, like, you were only at the Academia for a short time? As the great envoy commanded me, I have always paid special attention to records concerning the great songs of Kvarana and underground ruins. Tell me, is deriving recorded truth from documents not the essential work of those whose preoccupation is such writings? And even if you should suspect me, let us save that until we have obtained the great song of Kvarana. You would not abandon me here at this juncture, would you? I think actually that's like the perfect time to... I feel like this is the perfect time to be like... Sus, because like, you could just run off with the song. <laughs> Please, let us focus on resolving the matter of this elevator. Okay. Mysterious energy receiver, another tutorial. This str these strange devices seem to be able to channel energy into large machines. When the energy is linked up to these devices via circuits, the machines linked to them will also be activated. Okay. Brings a smile to my hmm. face. Wait, one of these is one of the ruins from the desert. Hey, this is fun. That's like the highest HP in defense is he's least likely to die. Fair, fair. <laughs> My instinct is always as a fail safe to have like healing on another person just in case. But I mean, that, that does make sense. Do I just jump down then? I guess. Cyrus sucks. I think I used Cyrus. I don't know. Maybe I am forgetting. You know so much about Genshin for someone who doesn't play it now, though. That's the thing. Rotate. 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 Oh, wait, no. Move. Rotate. 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 Eh. 
Rotate. Oh wait, but maybe I, oh no, I'm gonna need it this way. Uh, yeah, right? Move. Good, good. Now we need only activate the central control device, the control platform above, and the elevator should be restored to normal function. Well then, Yasna Party of Her Eminence, the Great Envoy, I leave that to you. I still have work to do here in examining these aged machines. We are finally here. The preparations I made were not in vain. And yet, let us leave celebrations till later. Who knows what dangers yet lie ahead. Wait, what? Oh, is it? oh, it's up. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Follow the wind. Follow the wind, indeed. <gasps> oh. Ah, uh, so that's. scenery is wonderful surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer oh wait no okay Oh, I did it. Finally, now we need only use this elevator and we shall reach the deepest section of this factory. Well, my notes do also say that a path into an underground realm still deeper down than this factory may be found there. But that is not a place we can reach. The road ahead of us is perilous, but I will not falter at the precipice this time. This may be considered the deepest parts of the surface realms after all. If a researcher such as myself were to stop here, I would surely shame the name of my order. As always, I leave myself in your capable hands, Yasnapati, honoured envoy. Fabricator General. Oh! Oh, it already started. Okay, I just wanted to check my achievements. Oh my god, I'm nervous. This is going to be so low. This does feel like a, a ruin golem. Baytooth. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. The whole floor moves? Emerge right now. Emerge. Okay. Gotcha. Bust it. Into the wind. Gotcha. Right here. The wind's loose. Out of my way. I never see anything I think of. I see. Oh. Oh my god. I don't think you guys understand how much I am like. Well, hello there, little one. Emerge. 
National Tone Deaf Bard Vancy. Would you like to say some last piece from my liar? Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I am geeking out so hard right now. This is the closest we have ever been to Conria in the game. Like physically the closest. Yes, that's a word. Emerge, what? Conria? Right <laughs> Man, if only I could like accurately explain what Conria is. But trust me, like it's huge. Eventually, we will go to Conria in this game. It's like where basically this whole game leads, essentially. Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy. Someone's abandoned letter. This mangled letter looks to be unfinished and it is unknown who left it here. Eminent Marshal. Of course, I am keenly aware that the four pillars of our kingdom have achieved the prosperity they have today, precisely thanks to us spying upon secrets from beyond the skies. Karia grew from, like, spying on the secrets of Celestia. And thus have our mechanisms been able to throw off the shackles imposed by this world's laws. But that technology, it cannot be said to be perfect. The gods are untrustworthy and the demons ineffable. If there is one thing that can pry open the corners of this hollow world, then it can only be human will. To this end, if you can petition the king to allow some machinery manufactured according to the old standards to be preserved under your ministry's purview, Perhaps it may light a spark under the latent wills of countless future generations to devote themselves to exploring technology. A lot of this quest so far has been confirming a lot of things. We just, we just confirming. We add in context and we confirming. Nice, and that's all five great Farina in our hands. Now we just need to take him over to Zervan in the Sea of Flowers and perform that ritual of whatever we're calling it. Please wait. As I see it, these great songs should go to me first. We've been through this, dude. No. As I mentioned before, I must still examine these great songs more carefully before the rite of Chinvat can begin. And did I not put in much effort toward finding them as well? If I were not present, you might yet be stumbling blind through this factory. Well, that's what it looked like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes, reasonable, is it not? Come then, give me the great songs, quickly now. That way I can draw up a procedure for the ritual first. Yes, that's right. That's my work too, after all. I look so unimpressed. Mm, you know, the more you talk, the more suspicious Paiwan's getting. He seems nice and friendly, and definitely like he won't betray you, yeah. That will be unnecessary. It is as my Yasna party says. You need simply await the completion of my heroic deed, Nazariah. Silence! You piss me off! They said- They said piss me off! In Genshin? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think people who that go 
protein like that should not speak. They said piss me off in Genshin. We don't allow the bad words in our game for children. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now, Soraya, you dare. Ha, huh, well, I've said it now, haven't I? I've blown my cover. He said it all to- I'm just so shook they said piss me off rather than you've angered me. But ah, it is such a liberating feeling to no longer have to grovel and nod before this idiot of a pari. Well, where should we begin? Even I'm not very sure. Let Paimon say fuck! Let Paimon say fuck! <laughs> I'd love to tell you all about my plans. Dead people tell no tales after all. But I'd wager you'd not like to hear of such convoluted matters much. Why don't you just hand the great songs over? That'll save me time. No, nope, not happening. We spent so much effort getting them, and if we don't have them, our commission's a non-starter. Yeah, this whole commission we spent so much time on. Servan also said that we'd be idiots to give them to you. Bah, sideshows, all of that compared to my plans. I've been playing house with you imbeciles this entire time just to get the great songs. They call me Vignana Party at the Order, but they could never understand my labours, and so I acted in secret. I had to. See, they're saying the order. He's saying the order. I think he means abyss order. Rather than the order of the skeptics. In order to get in contact with Kvarina constructs, I came up with the idea of using the rite of Chinvat to ex extinguish the sign and lure in Sarouche. That was already a pain in the neck. You've seen it, how most Pari are just obstinate cretin. <laughs> But she was truly useless. Her constant failure to obtain that chaplet had me on the verge of giving up. It was thanks to you two, ultimately, that the chaplet was grained and that we made it all the way here. Now, it won't please you, but I am very, very grateful. Well, that's a bit too harsh on Sarouche. Is that even important? The songs of the skeptics do record that some humans did become companions of the Pari, but were it not for the great songs, I would never have associated with them at all. All that is left now is to use the great songs of Kvarina to reverse the rite of Chinvat, which will release the seal on the, ab the abyss, and the wars of old will begin anew. Hi, I will officially announce that I'm evil. Will you convince- Will that convince you to give me this super powerful thing? I know, right? Oh, the expectation. Does it not kill you on inside? Shame, then, that you shan't see that glorious sight. Wait, but isn't your order supposed to help suppress the abyss? Why do you want to unseal it instead? You've turned back on your duties. Ah, but have you not considered other possibilities? That he's not from the order of the skeptics, he's from the abyss order! Just as you have seen, the skeptics' documents are a pile of raving mad myths, while diary records are factual, precise. As I see it, the history and the duty of the order of skeptics are but tall tales invented from nothing. My discoveries in the ruins only proved my judgement astute. I found a great many interesting things there, just so you know. While I have managed to enter this place at times, in secret, alongside the lector who gave me the notes. The Abyss Lector! But this is the first time things went so well. According to my research, those who resisted the impurities here were heroes of the Dari. They are the skeptic's true ancestors. Huh. So he's saying that. So he's saying that the skeptics are the descendants of Kanrians, or he's just saying that their ideals are the descent. Like. But they were forgotten, their tale untold. They were smeared as sinners, as the cause behind the disaster. Doesn't seem like something that would be rooted in facts. I know, right? The deeds were wiped from the records by the thrice be damned academia, and they're mistakenly appropriated as a founding myth by the skeptics. I suspect this is why the academia never intended to accept us. Sounds like speculation to me. No, this is the truth which I discovered with my own hands. I did say so earlier, did I not? I found some interesting records in the ruins. For example, diary records of that sign in the sky. They called this the sign of truth, believing that it reflected the reality beyond our skies. I bet it's a hole in the firmament. Did I not say? I feel, I'm pretty sure I said yesterday. Because the sky is fake. Right? And the Fatui are trying to prove that the sky is fake. Maybe he is from the Fatui then. But then he talked about the lector. 
And the Abyss Order and the Fatui don't get on. So I don't know, but like... Yeah, I think it's just a hole in the firmament. That is my plan, to bring truth without mercy to this unjust world. Now then, my great work requires the great songs of Kvarina, so hand them over. If you come quietly, perhaps I might spare you. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely Abyss Order. I know I keep going back and forth. I think it's definitely Abyss Order because the Fatui would have people they would report to, whereas this guy seems to be acting way more on his own. And what do you do? Snatch it? It's going to be pretty tough for you, you know? Well, that's too bad. I've come prepared. My apologies for the wait, O oh Priest of the Dark Hollow. Fucking Abyss Order. Yep. Ugh, Nasa Yuna called for backup. Outlander, hand over the foreigner. Cling saw. Power is more useful to me than it is to you. Forsaker of the true way. How could this be? Looks like I must retreat. Come up with another plan. Any other... Oh! Okay. <laughs> I was busy reading. this oh yeah i thought he was gonna turn into an abyss creature hmm where's nazajuna gone off to he was hiding over there a moment ago Ugh, how could we have let him slip off like that to think that he'd gang up with the abyss order to take our great kvarna and what was that crazy nonsense he was going on and on about this one was a long time coming well now that you mention it he was pretty suspicious right from the start and given what zervan told us she must have realized something as well right in that case, let's bring these great Kvarana back and get some answers from Zervan. As for the Order, didn't Nazajuna say that he was keeping them, them in the dark too? Well, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that some of them might have been swayed to Nazajuna's side, but Paimon thinks Piro and some others didn't know what was going on. If we've got the time, let's tell them the truth. Whatever the case, let's head back to the Sea of Flowers. We've got to make sure that nothing bad happens after all. Trial of half body. Interesting. I wonder what language that is. I really thought he was going to actually be an abyss creature. Maybe he is human, but just was like collaborating with the abyss. Honestly, unclear. I don't really know. This was cool though. Oh. A new bit. What if he like he isn't always an idiot? No. One with nature. No, he is. <laughs> Brings a smile to my face. Oh, collect it. Thank you. Okay, so that came up so we came up from there. It's this way. Ooh, these torches are cool. Oh, yep, those are real fire. Okay. Like, what if as if he isn't? Oh, I see. I, s I get you. The math is mathing. <laughs> what the fuck?
Records of unknown attribution too. A record left by persons unknown. It seems as though it was accidentally dropped here. Thanks to the assistance of those researchers, I finally found the source of the gospel that has been buzzing in my ears for days. That conceited one-armed sage thinks lies are enough to bring salvation. One-armed sage? But I will bring truth to the world. We wage war against the forces from beyond the sky, yet we were rejected by the laws of this world and tormented by an unjust curse, although this was written by a Conrian. This mistake must be rectified. As a people not accepted by any existence, our only option is to choose our own path. Source of the gospel probably refers to, like, the voice of the sinner, right? One up, Sage. Oh, abandon all hope. Hey. Ye who enter here, reach the end of the surface realms. <gasps> Wait, this, this is. This is closest to Conria. Gale of everlasting morning. How are you supposed to get up there? That is my question. It's not even like the blobos go burr. It's the tiny morsels of lore and story go burr. Me putting all the pieces together feels like a little puzzle. Delicious for my brain. What the fuck are you? What are you? You look like a penguin. Oh my god, it's the six-pointed star from Conria. I'm dead ass speechless. I know this is just a game and none of this is real, but holy shit. <laughs> I feel like my brain is gonna explode. Ah, I'm geeking out. I'm geeking out. <laughs> I need to talk about this with people. <laughs> so Rish has been pretty quiet since we left the ruined factory. I think she's just embarrassed. She used to keep talking on and on, so Paimon's not used to her being silent now. Considering what happened. Cheer up, Saruj. We've still got so many things to do. For instance- Oh! <laughs> no! You're not making me feel bad for the fucking cocky shit! No! <laughs> That's not allowed, Genshin! It's not allowed! For instance, we need to perform um, that right with a name Paimon can't remember, and then fix the giant hole. After we're done, let's treat ourselves to something delicious for our hard work. We can have... Um, Paimon doesn't know what Pari prefer for food. <laughs> Pari don't need to eat, silly floater. <sighs> to think I have fallen so low to require the pale floater's comfort. What a shame. I'd rather be sealed into the grey crystals right away, or find myself a cabin to slumber undisturbed for eternity, till everyone I know ceases to exist. Paimon said Paimon's not a pale floater, but is there really such a cabin? Avoidance can't really solve the problem. At this point, I'm past caring. How am I supposed to live with the sheer embarrassment of being fooled by Nazajuna? Yep, she's embarrassed. Anyway, now that you've collected all the great songs of Kravana, how did I forget to pronounce that? Kravana, you can go to Mihir or Rashnu if you want to solve the anomaly in the sky. Whatever the case, please leave me alone and pretend you never heard the things I said. Uh, you did say a lot of weird stuff. My Yasna party? Oh, stop. Please stop. 
Harley, stop teasing her now. She's been traveling with us for so long, after all, and Paimon doesn't want to see her quit halfway. What's more, Sarouche does have some good qualities. Like, um... I saw you hesitating! <laughs> stop patronizing me! You've got a sense of responsibility. Yep, yep, and haven't we been working hard to extinguish the sign of Apatia? It's all thanks to you that we've made it so far. How did it go again? Let Paimon think. Ah, as long as you keep going, I believe that it will only be a matter of time before you become a truly great adventurer. Really? Do you genuinely mean to praise me? Yes, as genuine as a friend could be. Hee <laughs> hee, I knew I was great. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> my motivation is back. Now that the motivated Sorush is back, let's go find Zervan, fix the giant hole, and get the reward. Paimon can't wait for her big meal. Oh, this person. Zervan, we're back. Ah, it's Harley, Sarush, and Paimon. By the looks of it, you must have obtained all the great songs of Kvarana. Despite some accidents. Whatever the case, the result is desirable. I was right to entrust the mission to you. Without you, the great songs of Kvarana might have been robbed away by those with ill intent. Huh, why does Paimon feel like Zervan saw what was coming? <laughs> eh heh, so I was on to something. You didn't run into the followers of the Dark Hollow, did you? How did you know? Well, instead of dwelling on how I knew, why don't you tell me what exactly happened? You recount your adventure in the underground ruins and Nazajuna's betrayal to Zervan. Heh <laughs> even the orders for Nanya party had sided with the Dark Hollow. That was unexpected. Not that I had any hopes in them to begin with, but that's just a step too far. And if I'm not mistaken, Nazajuna had been enticed into pursuing the great songs of Kvarana by the servant of the Dark Hollow you fought. That one's an old acquaintance of mine. You were old acquaintances with... An Abyss Order person? Huh? You know that guy from the Abyss Order? Hm, he used to be with the Order of Skeptics. Several hundred years ago, an investigation team from the forest came to explore the secrets of the Darians. They insisted on entering the Darian ruins despite the Order's warning. So the then Vinyana pa Vinyana pa <laughs> so the then Vinyana party sent the man to go with the team in case something happened. Oh, those were his notes. Okay. No one knew what they encountered in the ruins, but by the time he reappeared, he had already embraced the defilement's blessings, and the investigation team was nowhere to be found. He'd been corrupted by the sinner. Then came the followers of the Dark Hollow. They were after the great songs of Kvarna, and for that purpose, they summoned countless demons of Dev to attack the Vorukasho Oasis. Although we managed to protect our home with the help of many Pari and human warriors, we didn't eradicate the Dark Hollow's followers. To ensure that I left no gaps for them to exploit, I sealed the Vorukasha Oasis and the many ruins with the power of the great songs. The Order of Skeptics never recovered from this incident. They lost their ancient archives to fire and gradually became like this. I sensed that the followers of the Dark Hollow were making their play since you last mentioned them, but I didn't expect them to have corrupted even the leader of the Skeptics. Anyway, Paimon's still wondering about what Nazatuna said. Do you know anything about the Skeptics' ancestors? You fought alongside them, after all. He, <laughs> history becomes legend, legends becomes tale, that's how traditions live on. Forgetting is also part of the story. The more you cling to the idea of tradition, the more you only selectively remember the story you desire, and eventually become lost in the maze of tales. In a world where things are being forgotten every hour of every day, what we engrave on the ground is far more reliable than what we sing to the wind. Mmm. Interesting. That's why I trust you, for you're forthright and never seem to concern yourself with other people's judgement. Although you're praising us, the way you put it sounds somewhat odd. I somehow feel a sense of sarcasm. I presume Elder Zervan's words are intended for me. As for what happened 500 years ago, I think you'd want to see for yourself and hear my version of the story. And now you have exactly the perfect opportunity. By the way, Sorush, it appears you've grown more, li more reliable now. With what you've been through, have you awakened from those raving mad myths of humans? Elder, please just let bygones be bygones. It seems that I made the right decision to entrust the issue to Harley and Paimon. In that case, I guess I can also leave the right of Ab- Zor in your capable hands without any reservations. The right up Abzor. Hyrule remembers hearing Zervan mention it. Is it for cleansing, um, defilement of sorts? 
Rite of Absor is a ritual performed to cleanse the harvest token of defilement. Normally, you only need it to conduct need to conduct it under the trees that suppress darkness. Under the trees that suppress darkness. I like the leyline trees. However, with the seal weakening and the anomaly re-emerging in the sky, we need more than the usual to solve the problem. The anomaly appearing above the harpistrum as a result of the tree absorbing a great appeared above the, oh, as a result of the tree absorbing a great amount of defilement. With that excessive amount of filth building up within it and the corrosion caused by the anomaly, the harvest can, can no longer sustain the Kvarana's power. The only thing we can do now is enter the harvest to come to cleanse it and wake our god. So we can actually enter the harvest to come? <laughs> of course. Do you think that the rite of Chinvat was to be formed inside that dark hollow? Even Pari wouldn't be able to stand the defilement within. Inside the harvest to come lies a giant lotus. Galcarina? Galcarina. Galcarina? And our god's consciousness slumbers within it. By cleansing the defilement, the flower of sanctity will boom, bloom once again. The Amrita will rid the land of all its impurities. Convoluted as these processes may sound, I believe they shall constitute no hindrance to you. Well then, I have already sent Rashnu and Mihir to the Tanigi Hollow. You need only bring over the great songs, and then you'll be able to gather the power of Kvarana. Kvarana will awaken the huge trees that are suppressing the darkness and purify the contaminated mud in the depths. After that, you can then perform the Rite of Chinvat, and thus open the path into the Harvistukum. And once you're inside, the chaplet will reveal to Sarush the great deeds of ancient heroes. Since all memories related to Kvarana will return to the Harvistukum in the end, <laughs> these memories will never fade, no matter how legends are retold and changed. I've never heard of this! Hehe, <laughs> the chaplet was originally a part of the Harvistukum. You know, know when you get there. Now please go and extinguish the sign of Apatia. We will meet again when Amrita falls from the sky. Well, that about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed. This is a really interesting episode, I think. I was not surprised when Asajuna betrayed us. It was so cool getting to see like the daughter Kanria. I was not expecting that at all. I was so obsessed with that. And also getting to explore the ruins was really cool. I'm so excited for Fontaine now. Thanks to like Renee's notes and seeing what they will do with these energy sources there. Next episode, we will be wrapping up the Pari quest finally. It's very long quest and completing the rite of Chinvat. We will also be continuing with the Julian side quests. As always, if you enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.